What is going on, y'all? We are back. Back again. Yes, we back. are. It is your favorite podcast. I don't know what y'all talking about. I've been here the whole time. I, mean, I slept here. Right in the very spot. Did you ask Waiting for permission? For us to start again. I haven't moved. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you changed your shirt. Hygiene is first. Anyway. Ah. Yeah, Always. since your favorite podcast is the Physics Study Group. And, you know, for the last 47 weeks, I've been the same guy. Mr. Loud Pack Chopra, a.k.a. Dramatic. And you know who it is. It's your boy. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Sometimes Shabby Rags. Hey. What, what? It's your boy, David Bomaye, a.k.a. Debo Wabite. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion, the third, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich. Mm. And tonight we have a very lovely guest with us, Damn. as you can see. Yeah. A we good friend the... of TPSG. Hello. Yes. Uh, okay. I am Tajara, a.k.a. I don't have an a.k.a. So <laughs> they, they go Tajara your a.k.a. Crystals, that's my company. Hey, oh. shut Plug it up. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. We got it so guys, it, it, great, uh, crystal, yeah. great crystal jewelry. You got the yeah, original Tajara piece. Right. Crystal bling. It's worth thousands already. <laughs> Rock yeah. Crystal bling. <laughs> Yeah. So and, and they're and they're custom made pieces, by the way. Yeah, by custom hand. made by pieces. hand, handmade. So don't yes. fuck. With I make it. them with love. There awesome. we go. You hear that and that is Tajara crystals on the corner. Of <laughs> 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 on the corner of one thirty ninth and. About to give out an address thing. <laughs> so Good. unless you've been living under a rock, it has been a lot of stuff going on in the news today. Definitely. I mean, obviously we have Hurricane Harvey, but we're gonna get to that later. And uh, Mr. Flocka Zulu is telling me about s- something with uh, some crooked bank shit going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, all of them are likely crooked. I mean, unless they're personally owned by black people. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but um, Wells Fargo, they're in, a bit of, they're in a bit of hot water. Hot water. <laughs> after um, <laughs> it came up that they had one, they had one and a half million sham accounts. Mm. Damn, more. Uh, that customers didn't want, but then after um, being re- the bank revised the numbers, it's up to three point five million. Jeez. Lord wow. God, Lord yeah. God. So pretty much like what caused the issue was like their whole culture of like selling accounts, selling accounts, selling accounts, and like I don't know if you guys when you say selling accounts, what you mean? Just like they put pressure on their oh okay. on their staff on like their tellers on their bankers at, yeah. and their bankers to open new accounts. Right. And like you, you know it's true, cause like I've I've had a couple, you know, homies and homegirls at work at Wells Fargo that yeah, pressure, try you. To pressure you, yeah. Where, hey, up. hey, come open an account. You don't even got to use it. Type type deal. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's that's Magic always the line, right? Where, I, I've actually been a victim of the of the the, the fraud department type thing, um, <laughs> because I uh, remember Wells Fargo used to be. Wachovia. 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 I had a Wachovia account before, but I closed it, mm. and I went back to Wells Fargo, and when I saw it, it was like, oh, it shows you have an account already. It was like, oh, that's probably my old Wachovia account, which wouldn't make sense, but that's what I thought initially. Mm. It was like, oh, is your name, they said DJ something. I'm like, no. What? And I'm like, oh, there's an account here with your with your social and this guy's name. Almost, almost like flip wow. dogs. Like, what? This whole time, I never knew that. Wow. wow! I had to go there to open an account to find that shit out. What the that's fuck? Wild. That's so what. Yeah, crazy, real shit. Is, so the whole time you could have been balling. Once I get yeah, that, right? um, I mean, if, that Wells Fargo compensation if person, money. If the person was richer than you, that that could have been a benefit on your end. True, yeah. like you just caught a blessing. <laughs> <For right? real. laughs> like, well, hey, like, well, <laughs> DJ, your balance is one million. <clears throat> yeah, I'm DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friends call me DJ. Yeah, DJ's yeah. on my license plate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's my middle name. Don't know. <laughs> Don't nobody call it me. It stands for name. Derek Geronimo. Yeah. One <laughs> <laughs> and only. Mr. G- <laughs> that should be. We should name. People think it's a junior. Derek, Derek Geronimo. Geronimo. Right. Geronimo. That sounds like the nigga that always does extreme shit, like he skydives, <laughs> carousels. He does Geronimo all that crazy out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting live from the <laughs> San Francisco Bridge, David. Wait, was it David Geronimo? Derek. 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 I always forgot the name. And you made it up. I yeah. forgot your son <laughs> name already. Right. Derek Geronimo is getting ready to skydive with no parachutes. <laughs> and then swim to Cuba. <laughs> but yeah, oh, like, shit. um, I mean, honestly, like, the majority of these banks are crooked anyway. Yeah. Like, 
I, I forgot what com- like what comedian like sometimes comedians drop knowledge. Mm-hmm. Like what comedian was saying some stuff like, why do I have to pay someone to hold on to my money and like, you what? know why like they're saying like why bank accounts are necessary when they really aren't that necessary and stuff yeah. like that. It's just what? yeah. <laughs> Where Lucy K was saying that. It I probably was Lucy K. Yeah, yeah it probably was. Said, him. Like he he touched on um a big issue and like how it's expensive to be broke. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because I remember like, that. Yeah. Because like I don't have the five dollars to cover this charge, so the bank's gonna cut charge me an extra thirty five because I don't right. have the five. Right. Yeah, exactly. that's wow. Yeah, dog. I'm back oh, to that shit. Dog. Like mm-hmm. overdrive fees. Um. ATM fees. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, God. A- yeah. Mm-hmm. ATM. ATMs save banks money. Oh yeah, and yet absolutely. They charge yeah. you a fee to use it. Uh, if you're not from their crazy. bank. Like it, it's if you're crazy. Not from bank, yeah. Yeah. And uh, another thing, um, I, I, I've heard someone say like the benefit of overdraft is like let's say you have to buy this, and like this this thing is necessary. So like all right, let me buy it. I'd rather get hit the fee hit with the fee than be without this product. Mm-hmm. You got what I'm saying? That's so it, it still allows you to but make I mean, purchases, but still. But I mean, like people get into that habit and then it just ruins word. everything. It's because <laughs> they get an overdraft fee every time you swipe that card for a purchase over the balance. Yeah, I mean, once, true. You're, yeah. once you go negative, like every time then you swipe, you it's $35. Money into your account, they, they take, take all that money out. Yeah. And yeah. It's like you didn't even have money. So it's one yeah. thing to go to overdraft. Purposely, and it's one thing to overdraft on accident because yeah, you might exactly. not know mm-hmm. how much is exactly. You got like four dollars, and then you go buy gas, you go grocery shopping, mm-hmm. you you pick up something from the corner store, Word. and, and you're looking it. at a hundred bucks and overdraft right. for charging. And so, some banks charge double, like yeah. for, for what the over, so like if it's a hundred, yeah. it's two hundred that you owe them. them. Yeah, what? Oh, and then man. if you let the the uh, the overdraft sit for a while, they charge you thirty five like every week or something. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. stupid, yo, bro. Yeah. But let's niggas. Is banking. They want their money that's not even really there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Did but you see that meme where like guys looking at his phone? He said you checked your balance this morning. It was two hundred. Now it's negative six fifty. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's wild. That, yeah. shit is, that shit is real. But <laughs> the level of crookedness, man, like three point Crooked five million, and that's still you know subject to more review, right? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> because like before they came out with what one point four, one point five million. Fake accounts now it's three point five. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a big man. jump. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. But how did they even get that bad? You know what I mean? How how do you end up with three point five million fake accounts? People like, looking at and they were also no, they were also adding like fake services on the existing accounts. So real accounts that people had, they were uh-huh. adding like other services. They were charged people. Wow. Now I'm gonna live on some. So they're before. stealing. A little bit, yeah, no, a little bit. How, that's, that's definitely that's theft. That's theft. That's theft. That's <laughs> yeah. That is straight theft. up theft. The banks just get away with it, but oh I mean, my it's god, straight that's up theft. crazy. That's that, that like all, all you shoebox money niggas out there. I understand you. Yeah, like under the bed, under the mattress, money niggas. I understand y'all. <laughs> well, this is, I mean, they have to. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke too. <laughs> <laughs> all you non-taxable niggas. <laughs> or, but, but yeah, uh, man, just. You well, know, it's, I mean, just shows you how crooked this country is. Lesson from this is always be vigilant with your information, y'all. Yeah. Like, yeah. pay attention to where you're giving your information out, yet, out yeah. at. And personal information is considered, like, you can, if you get, if someone gets a combination of your name and or your date of birth mm. or your address, they can do a lot with that. A mm. lot. They can go and far. Some of y'all might, may not know that, but all they need is a name and a date of birth or a name and an address mm-hmm. and... They can make some shit happen yeah. under your name. So you, you ever heard about that phone scam, where all they need you to do is answer your phone and say yes, and they record your voice saying yes, so they can scam your account through your like um your wow. bank calling wow. them. You That's know what I'm saying? Yeah, like they need to say hello. Is this so and so? Yes, and they'll click on you. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Real shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and leave that fraud shit alone. Yeah. Cause that always it's not permanent. Yeah. It's, they're going they watch you from the jump yeah, yeah. yeah for sure I mean by all means get your money but they gonna get you though yeah, for <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. paper trail for real paper trails are no good not at all I mean so back to Wells Fargo though um I mean it seems like what, what was happening was uh, actually there 
their sales associates were under a lot of pressure to hit certain numbers. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it seems like it started. they started creating fake accounts and doing all of these things in order to... Keep their job. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, they're Survival. putting a lot of pressure. Because like, I just I remember that just like people... People I haven't talked to in years called mm-hmm. me talking about, hey, I'm going to tell that Wells Fargo you're on an open account. You know, like... <laughs> that's also some pyramid scheme shit. They, that, that's yeah. <laughs> what is... What does the account benefit the bank in? Well, like? I mean, what? Uh, so, I mean, I, I'm guess working at a bank, they want to make sure, of course, that you're working. So, yeah. they do, I know they give their tellers quotas and the Oh, so quotas. it's more for the quota for yeah, the salesperson. You, you want to yeah. hit a certain amount of accounts. You're opening a certain amount of accounts per, I don't know, whatever time period. Those yeah. quotas are ridiculous because mm. it's like, what if the amount of people that you want them to like sign up don't even walk into the bank like yeah. how are you mm-hmm. like that's, yeah, where this, that's where these fake accounts are coming into play yeah, yeah. exactly no, it's that. unrealistic because you can't force anybody to have a bank account yeah, buy that product. Account. yeah and, that's the problem with consumerism mm-hmm. and like all these quotas and different sales yeah. marketing it's like, jobs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's crazy because um i i know me myself i worked in the sales environment for yeah. a while so they pay somebody to, I don't know, using what formula or pulling what number out their ass to yes. say that, <laughs> I don't know what science they use or witchcraft to, to say that you should be selling <laughs> this, this amount, amount yeah. per, you know what I mean, per day, yeah. per month, per week. Yeah. They, and how can they assume how many people are going to walk in? They, like, they, they often base those numbers based on like the most successful branches mm-hmm. at a, in a particular region and they yeah. give you these numbers based on the wrong demographic or mm-hmm. area. So, um, so you know, and then if you don't fulfill that, you get fired. So Basically. some people, people who are okay with cheating or doing something yeah, that's they go the extra wrong mile. or morally. Yeah, because they see it as survival. Go, exactly. Like, I got to do what I do. I, so, do I mean, but can you really, at the end of the day, can you really blame them? This oh, no, life, not at all. You can't blame not them at all. Your life, like, you don't know each individual person's situation. That's yeah. their livelihood. Mm-hmm. If, if it's like, oh, I'm going to open this account and it's not going to actually harm somebody's life, you may do that because that's what you needed to do to keep yeah. your job and keep feeding yeah. your family. Keep your like, lights that's on, how keep it is. Food in your mouth, yeah. So a message to the man. <laughs> Stop making us do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop forcing our hand. No, no, for real shit. That's how that's how you stay in power, man. Put pressure and only give a certain amount. Oh yeah, on the people in your, yeah. in your control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, and I've heard of I've heard of other things like this in different sales environments. Like, um, yeah. I mean, for me, people opening up phones accounts and people, yeah, people. I mean, people who came in to open up the phones accounts, canceling in four months, so they oh get yeah, the so they can have the phone, they get yeah. the phone, they can sell mm-hmm. it, they could do whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I work in the system. Yeah, all sales environment. I worked at Sunglasses Hut, and they want sometimes they want us to sell sunglasses, and we could tell the person they could return them, but <laughs> they just wanted them to buy it that day to yeah. make their the sale, like, for, the sale for like I guess it was like the end of the quarter or something yeah. so mm-hmm. they were like we need it even if they return it next month it doesn't matter we just need yeah. it right now so they would push you to sell plain glasses That's like even when the person crazy. didn't want it these expensive ass glasses that yeah like people don't I feel like you can't convince someone to buy two hundred dollar glasses like it's either, either they're they, they they put to buy it or they're not yeah. Like, or, yeah it's a luxury like you don't Especially $200. Yeah, $200. yeah, like, oh, you know what? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I got $200 <laughs> out of my $800 paycheck. <laughs> yeah, just sell <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Where they don't even realize, like, how bad of a, a business practice it is. Because mm-hmm. it doesn't benefit. Because, like, you pressure people to make a quota. They're going to make it by any means. Like, just so you say. Right. Exactly. That's not making your company any more money. You're just making, you're making it so people got to... Scheme, scheme yeah. just yeah. To, just to just, give you inflated numbers. Just to give you exactly, and that are gonna come back and bite you in the ass. How many years later? Word, mm-hmm. yeah. That's, that's the big reason why people say there's no more customer service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because one, one, you're not paying these people enough, mm-hmm. and two, you're putting so much pressure on them just to to sell, just to sell, to sell. sell. To yeah. where they don't that, even care. Where it's not yeah. about the customer. <laughs> where that get where, the sale. where it's not about helping the customer. So that pressure, <coughs> that pressure that you put on them is now put on the customer. Okay. Yeah. Now the customer exactly. is like all these salespeople are so pushy. It's like nah, like they're like, they don't want to be pushy. They're actually trying to keep their job. <laughs> where I remember working at a shoe store. Like if you could tell when people come in that they don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Yeah. You mm-hmm. could you could feel that. But then you have a manager who's like, if you don't talk to everybody that walks into the store, <laughs> right? You, you, fired. you, you exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got to take the L and walk up and and get the. And I'm just, uh, yeah. you know, it's like you, 
I already knew you were you. I, I was gonna bother you, but or I'm they being, ask you to hover over them, and yeah. it's yeah. like I don't. Yo, like I will never. Like, right. I, hate I will it. never do that. Like uh, that. That shit is so annoying. Yeah. Like, don't yeah. talk to them. I talked to them already. Talk to them again. No. This is why people don't like us. Exactly. <laughs> you know they what I'm saying? Said like, no. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, fine. Just browsing. All right, need anything? Let me know. And I leave. Exactly. leave. That's all I if do. If they need anything, they like, I mean, no, I will out. be in this area. It's I'm not okay. going to walk behind right. you. Like, it's okay to stay in the area for yeah. sure. But like hovering. Yeah. And like, you know what's want to be stalked. And to make it even funnier, <laughs> when you go in the store, like, they, like what you said, you know. Who does like what Joy Maddox said? You know who doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah. Like I walk in with the biggest "don't fuck with me" face. <laughs> I walk in with headphones. These stores, and like <laughs> I'm I'm zoned out, man. Like just looking, doing my thing, and they're like, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." The initial, right. "How may I help you?" Cool. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I'm okay. I'm just browsing. You sure, man? I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. Of course I'm <laughs> sure, That's the tipping point right there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, That's where it turns from nice to... <laughs> I hate when you have to explain my... to the salesperson that you know what you're looking for, just leave me the fuck alone, because yeah. I like doing it on my own. Mm. And, um, <laughs> Prideful and, ass nigga. And, but, I, no, but I'll ask for you, I'll <laughs> ask you for help if I need help. Like, I t- I'm telling you, like, I'm look uh, half of the time when I'm going into a store, mm-hmm. if I know what I'm looking for... I know what I'm looking for. If I don't know what I'm looking for, I like to look around myself first, mm-hmm. like a grown ass person, and then <laughs> if I can't find it, I ask you. So I have to tell them I'm just looking around. Like I always tell them I'm. Yeah. Browsing. Oh, and another thing, don't look. I I know this from a customer's standpoint and a worker's standpoint. Don't look them in the eye. Like if you're looking at something, but like, oh, you need help? No, no, I'm good. You know, just yeah. on the shelf. They that's will walk exactly the fuck what away. I do. Right? <laughs> they will walk the fuck away. Like that's, I know I walk the fuck away. Right. Oh, you're not gonna look at me? Cool. Right. Less customer. You know, I don't give a damn. Right. <laughs> I used to do that. No, those those one time I'm there, and I never lasted long at any. I like I, I ask them. They know my background. I've had <laughs> a couple of jobs. Well, mm-hmm. a lot of them sell job. I didn't last long because I always felt like. If I'm if I'm smarter than the person who's managed me, I can't. Cause, Agreed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Millennials. Like, I was there oh. chilling and somebody walks in <laughs> and they're on their phone. And the manager taps me is like, Did you talk to them? And I looked at him like disrespectful. <laughs> I'm like, he, they're on the phone. Are you are you are you not paying attention? Like, I was literally like, Are you not paying attention? <laughs> like, have you done this before? You don't talk to people when they're on the like I snap. Cause like, I was just tired of that. No, place. no, I feel yeah. you. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's because the pre- I think we said this one podcast. The pressure's on them, mm. and because they can't um help finish this task by themselves, they come recruit you, mm. thinking, "Oh, you're doing this for the store." Like, no, you're doing this to help my ass because I'm gonna get fired. So Word. you know what I'm saying. Also, there's people that come in the stores that do want help, that do don't know what they want, and they mm-hmm. want you to show them everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, you right. said do don't oh, know. Do don't know. know. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Add that right. to the TPSG dictionary. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. do don't know. So, well, see like, what you do don't know. That is who you're there to service. That is who mm-hmm. you're there. Like That's yeah. why you're hired, for those right. type of people to help them, like find what they can't find mm-hmm. or what they're not sure that they want that's why they train you in all these different things mm-hmm. and whatever like not to bother the people that know what they want and don't want help exactly leave right. them alone like, like the only time i extend the questions is if the customer is like i'll be like hey how you doing oh hey how, you, how are you i'm like all right she sees happy i could probably hit her with another question <laughs> what are you looking for today oh nothing is browsing boom and it ends right there right. unless she said i'm looking for this you know what I'm saying? Right. People be like, oh, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm just browsing. You know, we have shut up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't <laughs> you know want that saying? shit. <laughs> right. If I said I'm browsing, you want to help me browse? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> how about this, though? Um, And Sir Sir Black Stallion actually touched on it a little bit. Along with, um, I mean, with these bad business practices, it kind of gives big, big business or companies in general a bad name. Yeah. They, they, they kind of push this pressure and all these immoral tactics so they get just to get a sale and make yeah. their numbers look mm-hmm. good. Right. It, it, for all those good companies out there are people who are actually doing what they do mm-hmm. on an honest basis who are mm-hmm. actually practicing mm-hmm. good business. It doesn't look too well for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's Yeah, it's overshadowing the... Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the 
there's there's such a disconnect mm. between like the front line and like the Man, higher up. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the higher ups always they they just see numbers. Yeah. All they yeah. want is numbers. And, 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 and their favorite phrase is "You can't just no, I can't just bitch." Yeah. I would have done it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I hate that <laughs> shit. You can't just sell ten thousand dollars a day. No. Like, and how do you expect <laughs> every day or every month? to do better or the same. Like, you can. Like, there's going to be dry seasons and high seasons. No, no, no. But sometimes you have managers that are understanding like that. I just about to say that, Those dude, those managers, those people that don't have another gear, Mm -hmm. like, they just always operating on 10. Yeah. Oh God! You can't I, tell them that shit, man. Yeah. Like yeah. to them, like every day, every walking moment is an opportunity to get a sale. Bro, and, how about, and that's how they live. They live and breathe the company. That's yeah. super managing they did. And Bruh. they probably have a really depressing life. How about the ones that <laughs> keep the door open longer than they should? What? I'm looking at you like this is disrespectful to me. Oh, I don't give a right. fuck about your quota. Right, bro. I get off at a certain time and I'm leaving at that time. Right. I don't care how like we close at nine thirty, you wanna keep it open till ten and I get off at ten thirty. Guess who's right. leaving at ten thirty, no matter if this shit's clean or not. Right. It wasn't I didn't tell you to keep that shit open. Yeah. When I was a manager, eight fifty nine my hand was on the lock. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ready to once go. it turned, clap. Because ain't nobody Sorry, we close. <laughs> but ain't I'm nobody... going to fuck home. Because y'all not paying me overtime. Wait. Unless I yeah. do a certain... I can like... understand like if it's closing time, one minute before someone yeah. comes, they're like, you know what? Let this last person in. But to keep the door open for an extra half an hour... Yeah, like, like bro, your quote is not important. no holiday didn't... season. Wait. Yeah. Like, nah, fuck out of here. Nah, t- <laughs> time is the most valuable... I can't get this time this back. Quota, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I I agreed to be here from the time <laughs> that you scheduled me on my shift from uh-huh. I don't know one to eight. Uh-huh. At eight oh two, I'm out this motherfucker. <laughs> don't <laughs> call me. Don't text me. If it's my day off. And I can't make it. Don't get mad at me because it's my day off. Word. Or don't get mad at me for oh, yeah. using using vacation days or hours that I fucking deserve. That you Word. have. You if you told me about this before we work, why you get mad when I use it? Word. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're gonna have vacation days. Oh, okay, cool. I'm using cool. this shit. Exactly. Oh well, we needed you at this. I am more people. What do you want me to what do? What that got to like, do with me? That's not on me, man. Oh my I have God. the time. If you would have told me like. Hella in advance. I'd be like, all right, I'll consider it. Mm. But if after I take the days and I come back and you scold me for it, that's so fucked up. Word. Why you took a day off? Bitch, I had it. What Word. you mean? Like, oh, I'm not God, a robot. Those, are the worst. those, those, those <laughs> people are the worst. It's, Word. it's like, like they, you, you understaffed. Yeah. And you're trying to make it. And you're trying to make it worse. You're better off trying to keep up the morale of your employees and be more understanding and be cool with the mm-hmm. more exactly. reasonable life situations like mm-hmm. someone getting a day off because they just fucking need a day off. Mm-hmm. Um, and and they're, they're more likely to come back to work after that day off and work for you and feel like they have a purpose. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because you actually are... You actually care about them. We're not talking about invest your time mm-hmm. and know about their personal life. We're saying actually just be human mm-hmm. and understand that life happens and if someone has time that they can take off and it works out for the scheduling, yeah. then it's not a big deal. Yeah. Exactly. Let, that, Shut that's, the fuck up and stop crying. Exactly. Oh, that's a ass manager that ain't get to do nothing with your life. Right. Ooh. <laughs> that was personal. That, <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's it, personal to That's why motherfuckers come manager. back and shoot the job up because you don't let them rest. So yeah. That's hence. Word, that's a whole... <laughs> that, that's that was whole, extreme. That's a whole nother category. Yeah, that was extreme. But, yeah. But I mean, I mean, one, you got to pay people what they deserve, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you gotta you gotta treat people and, and give them the leeway just to live life. Yeah. Cause some of these jobs they wanna take your life, bro. Like, they wanna, yeah. they wanna, they they want you to live, breathe the company. But it's like you gotta pay somebody according to that. It's like, Ex- oh. am I like you you keeping the store open extra time for me to for to us to meet this quota? I'm like, okay, if we meet the quota, do I still get paid minimum wage? Right. Yes. Okay. All right. No, I'm I'm straight. Yeah, the yeah, man, man. the managers basically oftentimes treat you or with the expectation of you being a manager. Hmm. Like if you get what I'm saying, you know, like a lot of managers will expect their employees to think of the job as if they're also a manager. Exactly. But that's but not the not case. Yeah. That I'm not getting paid for that responsibility. Exactly. My responsibility uh, is to be here when I'm scheduled to be here point blank period word. and do my job while I'm here. Word. My responsibility is not to be worried about the job after the fact. Right. Yeah. It's just not. That's true. You don't pay me enough for it. If you paid me, that's compensation for that mental and emotional real estate I'm using up in order to care for this company in my Preach. personal life. Preach. So it's crazy. You can't expect 
from your lowest service level employees manager type behavior or a manager not. type commitment yeah, yeah. commitment yeah. i mean yeah. Yeah, cause, that's a good cuz you know like a lot of them they justify the minimum wage not going up because they say well you know it's college kids and stuff that work here but it's not but it, that but that <laughs> it's not but if that's the case right for that argument that means your your job is not the priority. If it's college kids that's working there supposedly, that means their their school is a priority. Mm-hmm. But then when you work there, they they switch it up to where, you know, they want to call you in when you're not working. They want to they want you to work extra hours. They want mm-hmm. it's like if, cause being a college kid and working those jobs is like you they they try to take that time you need mm. to do well. Yeah, they try school. to squeeze yeah. every second word, out of you. Word, yeah. like, because they, they don't give a fuck about you. And they, they don't know care you if you fail money. your class. They don't care, you know what I'm saying? They, they just, just want to work this quota's you. met, yeah. So it's like, don't give these companies nothing extra than what you say you're going to give them. Absolutely. Absolutely. It means to an end, because they don't give a it's fuck a about you. It's a breach of contract. Yeah, that. they don't give a fuck about you. They're, they'll just use you till you're used up. Basically, yeah. you, you know leave to replace you real quick. Word. Tell them again, oh, that word, shit is so true. Word, even steal some shit on your last day. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> or knock Especially some Especially if you work right. at Walmart. Those Just companies... <laughs> Those they ain't company, got cameras everywhere, dog. Those <laughs> companies often benefit from these college students because they're, you know, naive. They don't even have good advisors, man. So, like, they gotta yeah. come in here just... You know, and you giving them money. College ain't giving them money right now. Basically. They're, it's taking it. So, like, to them... They can work more hours. They're gonna take it too. But yeah. you kind of—that's taking advantage of a, a immature person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feed of off their well. need for that money. So that's man. that's another factor or yeah. issue that comes along with that. But you know, these companies don't give a fuck. Yeah, just as much as I fucked up this transition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say who does just as much. Just as much as the people in Houston feel the, the transition. I was like, how? Oh, nah. just as These much as the Nike. King, as the no Nike don't give a fuck about exactly. anyone that's south of the wall. Oh, <laughs> oh, we about to get in Game of Thrones. Oh, just say yeah. it again, and we'll pretend you did the transition. Yeah, let's pause it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Can we edit that out? <laughs> no, we're we'll not going to edit it. But oh. yeah, so before we before we jump in, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen any Game of Thrones, like we're, we're, we've seen all of it, so we're going to talk about everything that we've Season had. finale. If you so have not- So spoiler alert. Then, then, word. Then, edit that in. Symbol. Okay, thank you. So. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, skip ahead. <laughs> so, there's a lot of shit going on with Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. A lot of uh, shit. One, we could be possibly waiting till 2019 for the last season. Or yeah. late 2018. Or late 2018, yeah, which is just as bad. <laughs> or two, uh, I've heard it's either going to be six to eight episodes, but all of them are going to be 60 to 90 <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> what? Sorry, 80 to 90 what? minutes long. That's like yeah. feature length films. They're yeah. all going to be feature length films. Feature length film episodes. And also, they're going to include this sarcastic character named I Seen Black. <laughs> no way. Me? Me? To make this crazy face. I in hope the he gets killed of off screen. in the first half of the season. I'll be back so when they are going to talk y'all about this about. season finale? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a couple, it's not even just season finale. It's the last two episodes. Okay. Um. First of all, I'm used to 10 episodes a season, and I'm used to these writers doing what they do where the second to last episode, the craziest shit happens in right. the finale of the season, mm. i.e. Ned's death, right. the Red Wedding, the Purple Wedding, and a whole bunch of other shit. That happened in the ninth episode. So that crazy to happen, you're like, what is this? And then you got to watch another episode. <laughs> that shit is torture. Yeah. But these last two... All right. At first, I wasn't a, a book purist. But I found out, I haven't read the books, but I found out about things in the books that are left out of the show. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, the first five, ep- first five seasons have been the best because they follow closer to the books than six and seven. Mm. And the they seasons, don't have a book to follow. Exactly, because George R.R. R. Martin, the writer, stopped writing it. Right. Not stopped writing, he hasn't finished it. He hasn't it. finished it. He, yeah. He's trying to tie in all the things together, but he, I guess he's having, exactly. not issues, but he's like, I guess, trying to... Yeah, he's probably it. having yeah. writer's block. Mm-hmm. He's human. You know right. what I'm saying? Probably, because, like... I've seen I've seen things where like it's supposed to end in like a certain amount of books, but then they'll have they have to write more books to yeah in sub series like yeah. there might be a Targaryen sub series, 
Honestly, like, he probably got lazy. He figured they're already making a TV show out this book. And he's probably getting buku yeah, though. Exactly. Buku I bucks. thought about that too. <laughs> but um I ain't writing this shit. What I happened? Hope he does. I, don't read it. I, I don't know if you know. He told the writers the ending. Yeah. They know they're, the they're ending. going off of what so he wants the ending to be. Exactly. Since he's not writing the books, they're trying to get to that ending in their own way. Exactly. And they're but fucking the it thing. up. Okay. Uh. Because it's not it's it's away from the books. Like Readers love when movies or TV shows they watch follow the book damn near to the T. Right. And I mean, one through I mean, five was doing that, no but once it fell to off, compare it to. yeah, that's the thing. But it's saying like in comparison. Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, people know that people know that you can't put everything from the book. No, know? no, of course, but they put the enough where it was like, yeah, it damn, was, this it is was good. Close. Yeah, they originally because George like he. He's been approached to do movie deals before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, nah, this series is too expansive to be... Because can you imagine Game of Thrones, like the first season, chucked into one 90-minute film? Oh I'd hate God. it. It would be I'd horrible. hate it. it you wouldn't even rushed. understand it. Yeah. It would be like season seven, rushed and terrible. But then, it, <laughs> bro... You, no, it wasn't terrible. You, no, I'm sorry. It was I'm, rushed, though. It. I would say they're, they're, they're closing, they're closing storyline, which makes sense. Cause it's like, if they if they're not doing it the way they're doing it now, it's mm -hmm. like, you you'd have to tack on even more content but to where that, they don't. But have. that's the thing. That's why they the have people. short episodes. I mean, like they only have six episodes instead of four, where mm -hmm. they had ten. Where exactly. and the fact that they're longer, I feel like they're for the fact for what they have to do, mm -hmm. and tie up loose ends. They're doing a good job of like tying stuff together. It doesn't. It doesn't see it because they do stuff like with the travel. They they advance time to like oh, <laughs> to like the traveling the, the traveling type of thing. Okay, like that I feel seemed, like Jordan's over here shaking his head. No, no, like, no all what right. are you? That ruins the series for you. Bro? No, no, no. See, you're putting words into my mouth. No, because I you still said love you, the series. You use the word terrible. No, I was, use I was the, you use the term there. What did he say? They're, they're fucking it up. Yeah. You no, no, no. I I stand by fucking it up. Terrible is a bad word to use. I rescind that. I apologize. <laughs> it's not terrible. But then fuck you. But they're fucking. Let, let me okay, tell you. Okay. Let me tell you. They're contradicting themselves. With what? There's stuff that's happened in past seasons, and they're just like, oh, even though that happened, fuck it. We're just going to make up a whole new story for this person or that situation. Now, it it's a gift and a curse. I only know about that because I've spoken to people <laughs> who have read the books and know how it is. So they gave me that knowledge. Now that I have that knowledge, I can't help but look at the show example? like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I don't. Do you know who Lady Stoneheart is? Lady Stoneheart. Lady Stoneheart is supposed to be a resurrected Catelyn Stark. After she was killed in the Red Wedding, the bro the so okay. the band of Brotherhood Before or whatever you... was supposed to bring her back to life, and she was on a, a um a vengeance murderous rage to go back and kill who killed her, mm. and they left that out. But that was fine. That was supposed to be in in the season one through five. Uh -huh. The season one through five was still fine. How about I come to find out the Night King is not even in the book? Oh, the Night King's not in the book. But are you saying that, that blew it's my mind? No, no, compared I, to the books, I, I don't want to say saying... terrible. It just seems rushed. All right, for instance, the whole travel thing. Mm -hmm. So, but that, I mean that adds. So, all right, to me that's better because like because I'm I want to read the books as well. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's they, a little different. It's a little different. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I want to see what the book is saying now. Now no. that now that I see how how the TV adaptation did it. Uh huh. Well, yeah. once again, from what people tell me from the book, there's a lot of people left out, but um, them being left out is not going to kill the series. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If yeah. they're added, would have been oh, that would have been extra dope. Yeah. And but the, you and left them out, like oh, the series is still good. Yeah. But and another thing too, um, I only read the first book. Mm -hmm. The 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 characters like a lot of the kids they're 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 a lot younger than they are. On the on on like in the show, cause like at the time, at the time where all this happens, like Jon Snow is like fourteen, you know what I'm saying? And like Arya's like eight, nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So that's what that's what we we bring him at. So like all this time, but like you can't really all this time he's there like you know with Daenerys and da da da. Like now he's like mm -hmm. sixteen, seventeen. So it's like. And then another thing, the sons of the harpy. Weren't in the book, mm -hmm. but they added a nice little piece to the show. Mm. Like I, I, for some reason, I just love seeing the merc niggas in the mm -hmm. little fight scenes. You know what I'm saying? Right. The sand snakes weren't in the book. Okay. So the sons of the harpy and the sand snakes weren't in the book. Um, Essos existed. 
Mm. Essos exists, and um, Doran exists. Okay. Like, um, Martel guy got a skull crush. He he's in the books and everything, but the Sand Snakes are. So that's just a writer trying to fill in the gap and everything. And it was it was decent, but it's like I don't know. It's just certain, all right. And, and and another thing that irked me. This has nothing to do with the books of the show. This is just me, like loving the art of writing and everything. Mm. It was, I just found it mad cheesy <laughs> that one, the Night King now has a fucking dragon. Mm. He resurrected. He pulled these huge Titanic looking chains out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah. That just adds to the doom though. Like no, that no, sense no. of dread. Like No, that's what I'm getting at. Like, how are they gonna overcome this now? That's what I'm getting at. He got he got the dragon, he came back, he destroyed the wall in a matter of seconds. Yeah. And he's just sitting there flying on that fucking Pokemon looking <laughs> dragon. <laughs> And it just looked weird to me. I was like, all right, no, no, you're rushing this. Like, first of all, you're making him seem unbeatable, even though he is still beatable. But you're just making him seem like you're overdoing the dread. Like, there, but I that's mean, because, no, no, end, the reason it's I'm. It's close to the end of the series. No, this has to be like that. Yeah. The reason I'm yeah, saying it because Game finale. of Thrones is used to that subtle dread, like that. You know something's going on, but they just don't throw it in your face like that. But then, We're but at then, the they're end. just doing it for cool points. It's, it's, oh, what? a blue dragon with blue flames is cool points. We've been hearing it's the fan it. service. It's the build up. We've been What's hearing about an ice dragon for a long time, though. How long? Like, Since season six? Yeah. <laughs> That's not that long. But, I but mean, at the same time, I watch that shit with all excitement in the world. Yeah. I feel you. But I'm telling you, it's a gift and a curse because I have that knowledge, so I can't help but look at it that way. But I mean, that's You get what I'm saying? It's, I'm, I'm kind of forced. I'm, I wish I never knew what I knew I so mean, I could just enjoy the show. You I mean, that, that's that's regular. You compared you, it to a book, though. Yeah. Like, everyone's going to be upset that yeah, something isn't like the book, but you but get over on. it because it's a TV show. He compared like, it to a book that's not even written yet. Yeah, yeah. that's the other thing. You're talking No, no, about, that's that's not the, the point book I'm has, getting at. I'm just saying it was written. better when the writer was writing it than these writers. Because he's not helping them write it. It's just D.B. Weiss and David I think, Benioff. I think because they switched up Shut the up. format. <laughs> like, you don't want to... I don't know. I... I love it, and yeah, there's there's some, you could see some, kind of holes with 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 some with some of the execution mm-hmm. because you know they're they're wrapping up storylines to mm-hmm. like, cause even cause we we were even talking about it before, cause you're saying like how did Daenerys get there so quickly? She just left. Oh yeah, and, I, I heard a good joke about it. But go ahead. She you know <laughs> she left and like. Two seconds later, she was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but my, a, a dragon flies quickly. Yeah, my thing is one that, and you got to remember, all these places, they walk, or ride a horse there, or a boat, <laughs> or, or a boat. So like you're talking about, if we, who are in Miami, were were to were to walk to Orlando, that shit will take us days, probably weeks. You know what I'm saying? And that's like a 20 minute plane ride. So I'm like. I'm assuming that they did that whole, you know, because even they, they showed like the time lapse to where like they're there chilling on the ice mm. and they did that whole thing where they went back and they're still waiting and like they're, yeah. you, know, you could, you could tell through the scene change that a good amount of time has passed and they're just there waiting to the point where the ice firm, like firm back up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel so, you. So I'm like, I'm like, it could well, you know, take just a couple of hours for the for the fly and get there. So I, that's that's plausible. I didn't I didn't see that as like, oh, that's impossible. All right, it's not <laughs> it's not that it's impossible, mm-hmm. but it's improbable. But, then but this can, is a magical listen, dragon. You, I, I mean, all right, so check this out. Flying. This was a show where women was giving birth to shadow demons. Demon baby. So why question it? You get what I'm saying? You can say that argument too. You seen wilder shit, so why question this shit? All right, well, you know what I'm saying. But, but how about, still, how, about how far thing? how far is Dragonstone from, from north the, of the wall? Where from they north were. of the wall, really? You know what I'm saying? Because we can't really gauge it. Because we because right. we live in a society where we drive places. Again, they are they are walking as large groups. You know so, how long it takes to walk uh, for our army to walk from here to here? A long time. You're oh, right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, but, all right. So let's let's. Let's play devil's advocate a little bit and okay. buy in <laughs> into your into your theory. Your dragons do fly mm. a shit ton faster than humans can mm. walk. Right. I believe you. So how long would it take the Night King to, to get from the wall to King's Landing or or to get to, to fuck everybody up? That should mm. be one episode, right? True. Well, he hasn't been able to get over the wall. That's well, been the problem. Now the he did. We we don't know how notice, long it's gonna take. Why but you notice something. Stop? That's what I'm saying. He, he hasn't know, stopped. This is his first attempt. This is yeah, his first this time. Yeah, this is literally his first time. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden he has a dragon, so it's no issue anyway. Yeah, he was he, worried about this shit the whole time. Like, oh, I'm good now. I low key think <laughs> he was waiting for the dragon to be. Able. He was waiting for something to come. So There's he can a get theory past about the that. There's a theory about that. You heard the theory that uh, uh, Brandon Stark is an Ice King. Yeah, is a Night King. Definitely. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What do y'all think about that? Yeah. I think you feel about it, it? it's a bit no, plausible. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's true. No. 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 I think it's very plausible. It's pl- No. I. Pl- it's. It's. Pl- it's definitely plausible. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's true. Like I think it's plausible because um, <clears throat> remember he he can go back in time. He can warg, and everything. So they're saying that the more he he's going back in time, he's losing his mind. Mm-hmm. And he basically became the Night King out of, you know, just being stuck in that time and saying, you, you got that's what I'm saying? What just, heard, well, that's, that's one. And another one, um, remember they said, uh, he's the reason the Mad King said, burn them all and all that shit. Yeah. They said that possible theory for that is that he was back in that time at the same time being in the present time telling her and like, I think Cersei tell them to burn the White Walkers or something and it mixed or some kind of like the Hodor thing. From what I read so in the article, it was that they were saying that he, that Bran went back to the, what's it called, the Mad King mm-hmm. to try to whisper into him, into his yes. ear about, yeah. like, making the White Walkers get on fire or whatever, but then it kind of got mixed up in his brain. He mm-hmm. went crazy, and that's why he started burning the town alive. That's what the theory is. Yeah. And then... The, well, then they're saying that he went back farther think, and became Bran the Builder. I think yeah. we should keep the conversation to what's already been shown. Yeah, I rather mean, than because we we're def- getting real. Yeah, we're, we are because right, we're getting I, really spoily to where we might spoil like what hasn't come out yet. <laughs> I love that word, spoily. Spoily. Um, did we get to the part where Dumbledore dies? Yes. <laughs> where Snake kills Dumbledore? Yes, yeah. we did get to that part. <laughs> and Wait, thing. Dumbledore okay. dies? Yeah. So y'all and just want to spoil Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> I, I, no, I, I'm not I, sure. That's I read I somewhere. I read somewhere. Like I forgot the distance between Dragonstone and where they were. Mm. But they say based on that distance, whatever the distance is, mm. for her to get there in the time that she did, she would be have to be going fast enough on that dragon, with winds similar to a Category Five hurricane hitting her while she's on that dragon. But how much time did it take? It took. It didn't take that long. Um, but, but the scene much? didn't change. You get what I'm saying? They're saying what do you mean the scene I've seen change? I've seen them travel to a place for four episodes, but this episode she gets there lickety split. No, that's you, the complaint people the, are you, having. You see the character show up four episodes later. <laughs> no, 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 no. The in like each episode is they no, have no, scenes of their travel. Yeah they, yeah, they start traveling, but then they start focusing on other storylines. Yeah, like and then when four episodes Harry later they they show mind. this person in their destination. That doesn't that doesn't say that. More time has passed or not? I that just said if there was no black screen between mm-hmm. the scenes, then I would say okay. But mm-hmm. I believe there probably was. Oh, it, it, and it was another thing. Remember when they brought the white to Cersei mm-hmm. and John doing the demonstration? They either die by fire or blah, blah, blah. yeah. So I, I don't know. Just personally, I didn't like how episode seven ended. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I liked it. Like the Little score was, though, was the oh, was the biggest part of the whole episode. Satisfaction. <laughs> yes. So that was that made it worth everything. Yeah. yeah. And eat. Uh, I don't even want to say. Yeah. Don't worry. But about yeah, that's. <laughs> I personally <laughs> don't think Legolas should have even did that in the first place. So. Exactly. He should have just shot arrows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what exactly. he does. That's, exactly. Yeah. And Gandalf, Gandalf, man, he's a and badass. Why would they make Harry kiss Hermione? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, the stars got to get the girl, right? Yeah, whatever, man. And why would they make it so that the moon controls everybody and sends them into a dream, so that they're every, that they, that you know, <laughs> peace comes to the earth and shit? Why? Why would you think that? I got another question. Mm. Why didn't Joel Olstein open up his church the moment the disaster happened? Oh shit! Oh yes! Oh. That's so wait, that. hold on. We because he's fake. Hold no, on, hold on, hold on. That one might go down. In <laughs> hold the, on. In the, Cause we got to talk about, yeah, we, yeah. We got to talk about yeah. Hurricane Harvey, like in yeah, general. F- yeah. First and foremost, want to send our you know prayers to everyone dealing with Hurricane Harvey. Thoughts, condolences. Yeah, I think oh, the last yeah. time I saw the the fatality count or whatever it was thirty. I think. Oh, it was thirty. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I checked, I hope it didn't rise. Word. Yeah. But like those 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 water levels are stupid, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, they're so scary. Like I saw a picture of a water burger. I'm not sure how tall a water burger is, but it's probably the size of a Burger King. Mm-hmm. And it was only like the the top. 
I thought you said water burger. Like, yeah. Uh, somebody, made a tweet, <laughs> somebody made a tweet about that. Like, oh, you could probably pronounce it water burger oh. now. Like, I was not trying now, to be bro. funny. I just yeah, honestly I know, I know. sounded like you but said yeah, water like, burger. It's, it's crazy. Like rising over six feet. Oh, my God. Damn, man. Word. And if you want to help, um, there, there are a bunch of organizations that you could donate to. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely do your research. I wouldn't suggest like Red Cross. Or yeah. Whatever. Definitely not. Yeah, but, Trust the or, Salvation Army more than the Red Cross. Yeah, but there, there's one... Um, that was connected to Facebook. That I saw. I looked into the like, Facebook matches a dollar when you donate, mm-hmm. um, to them. And I was looking them up, and they actually do like long term, cause like stuff like this takes years to rebuild. Yeah, to rebuild. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, definitely, um, help wh- whichever way you can. You know. What I mean? Um, along with the along with the I guess rescue and the and the fundraising efforts. JJ Watt. Oh yeah! Play. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. I think it started. Yeah. He started the goal with his goal was I think five hundred thousand yeah, to and raise. They, I think they're what ten million now. Yeah, Damn. and like owners are dropping mills yeah. on the regular. Mm-hmm. Like Houston Rockets owner dropped the mill. Dallas Cowboys owner dropped the mill. Um, there's a couple celebrities that dropped millions. Few like other thousand. celebrities Beyonce are like and Jay-Z. yeah, other celebrities are like challenging other celebrities, and, right. and then like there's people that you don't know about either, like um. Like people like the Dream Defenders, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where they go out and do stuff where you know they don't want the recognition or nothing. Like I've seen it on Instagram, people buying diapers and mm-hmm. you know just going to Walmart where they're I've seen at. A lot of social mm-hmm. media people yeah. collecting. Yeah, doing great it's things. it's a beautiful thing. Word, word. Yeah, if you if you know anyone personally that is close to the area, you can even if if you'd like to make a more of a specific donation, whether word. it be mm-hmm. clothes or something, you can ship it directly to them. To them, yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 they could. Distributed to the whatever organization of their choosing, or if they're already working with somebody, or so, you true know, the people in their community. Yeah, and also shout out to the people with boats mm-hmm. going out there. I, what's crazy? I never thought about that. Yeah, like right. that is the that's that's the perfect. Like just keep like, a canoe just, on deck, yeah. just in case, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like everyone that lives in Brickle and South Beach should own a boat because. Right. Oh, Admit, yeah, just that's scary to think about, bro. Yeah. If it rains for fifteen minutes, I'm in ankle high water in Brickle, mm. bro. It's bad. That's wild. I don't even want to. Uh, anyway, yeah. But um, that's yeah. Wild. Shout out to the people with boats. Um, shout out to the people out there, you know, rescuing the animals too. Yeah. Because you know, some animals like you, like you will see dogs sitting on like the one part that isn't flooded, just looking around like I don't know what the fuck to do and yeah. that's awful to watch you yeah. must be scared as hell yeah oh uh, really? gosh and like even crazy shit like blood banks the blood from the blood banks is leaking into the water oh it's crazy like nobody doesn't think about that yeah. like it's yeah. stuff in the water along with it being of course. flooded mm, you yeah, don't want to like, be in that that stuff I mean all the waste from everything yeah just, like, just, like electric wires like yeah. that's one thing they taught us as a kid here in miami when a yeah. hurricane hit mm, stay away from all electric water. wire because and you, you, you know, know what i'm saying that plus water, that you need to have rubber boots yes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that plus yeah. that equals what's that. really bad is they didn't even know what level the hurricane was really gonna be they were telling them mm-hmm. a like, very low level when it really was a higher level because they just didn't want the people to panic and then the, pe- yeah. the inside people were like that's letting people know on social media like what up. they're telling you is a lie. Yeah. Like it's gonna be way worse. Yeah. Oh um, god. I heard. I heard the. I think he's the mayor of Houston. He said some wild shit. He said, "Um, we're suggesting that you evacuate. If you don't evacuate, make sure you write your name and your social on your arm, like so we can identify you." Like he was just wow. trying to say that's how bad it's gonna be. Like Straight get up. the fuck out of here. Wow. Yeah. If wow. I think it, what it's like six million people in yeah. Texas, like yeah. or in Houston. I yeah, Houston's know, the yeah, fourth yeah. largest city in America. Yeah, like. Yeah. So all those people evacuating, they would have died like trying to evacuate. Mm. Well, no, no, that's true too. That's true too. Like it, it's. Sorry. Well, because they told them too late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they told like, them too late. If they would have told them if they, with timely manner. Yeah. Yeah, because I like even the, give them an option, like say, "Look, guys, this is gonna be a pretty fucking bad hurricane, yeah. mm-hmm. and right now, since it's early, you have an option to evacuate. Let's set some things up." But yeah, you know the government don't work like that in most nah. cases. Well, especially man. now, especially now, because um, I read that um, that weeks before like the hurricane was was forming, that Trump like rolled back a lot of policies. Like on like you took like um 
like money from the um from the Coast Guard. Um, he did like he took a lot of funds from like different yeah like, different organizations yeah different organizations that deal directly in um, disaster relief. Wow. So it's like, bro, that, that uh, first thing I thought was Illuminati. Yeah, like in harp. <laughs> Y'all know what that is right. Like he's he's Mr. Oh, he's like real better. life, um, <coughs> Mr. Burns. But is it from from, from the, the Simpsons? Simpsons? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah like he's like him for real. Smithers. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Send sorry, the hounds. We, like we 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 kind of strayed away from our boy, Joel Austin. Well, yeah, but it, you know it all ties in, you know, yeah, because yeah. we talk about a corrupt government, and mm-hmm. I don't know about y'all, but. It, Y'all, I know, I'm sure it's most of y'all have come up in a Christian type household. Your parents mm-hmm. had TBN at some point, and and you've seen your boy Joel Olstein. My in parents church. never put that shit on. Uh, I've, I've, oh, they we went to TBN. church. On he y'all. called like, TBN we to... that shit, y'all. <laughs> no, I mean Joel Olstein, show, oh. not TBN. Nah, um, well, when the T, like mom, in my house, TBN would just be on. No, no, yeah, I know what you mean. And, it's the news from my house. And. <laughs> And sometimes Joel Osteen, he be preaching a good message, but then over time, you know, you realize certain, like, he's very fluffy. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm nitpicking. <laughs> but um, yeah, the he, fact that, like, in, in my opinion, he has the largest church, what, in, is it in America? Even? He, he well, has he, a Superdome. Yeah, he has a, he has a, he has a, he has, so what he has a mega that, church. It was All that right. he wasn't allowing people into the he, church? Like, well, what is it that he was Well, doing? as the... As the you know, after the flood happened and everything, and people needed places to evacuate to, um, Joel Olstein didn't immediately open up his doors, yeah. and people were, um, and he's you know the large he has the yeah largest he church. should be the first so people, it's first a church it's, it only yeah. seats seventeen thousand people it's That's the exact wild. message you preach so it um, was a stadium wasn't it or an arena yeah it, was a it looks dome. like one I think it was called a superdome or something like yeah, that yeah I know they call it a mega church or a team yeah. used to play there. There we go. Okay. Oh, you, wow. wow. See, Thank right. you, Mr. So, uh, Mr. Thanks. Who. It's the old Houston Rockets arena. Yeah, so as a Christian, if any of y'all come, come up in a Christian household, you know, true Christians, not people that run around judgy, 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 yeah. mm-hmm. uh, but people that um, actually do the work of God mm-hmm. and and open their homes to people in need and or help the community or pe- loved ones who may not be directly related to them. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, if you have this mega church mm-hmm. that's right in the heart of where this disaster happens, your first, your duty as a whatever you want, a messenger of God, yeah. is to open your doors to the people there. No yeah. hesitation. Because if Jesus was here, Yeshua, whatever you want to call him, he that he would have been would trying to figure been. out how to help. He was not trying to figure out. He would have been helping everybody. Yeah, he would have been. Well, in, he, you took the words right on my mouth. He was with the shits. Man. If, it was, <laughs> if it was Jesus, but, he'd be housing people in that. Yeah, he'd be yeah. like, "What's up? Like, I got some spots around here. Like, right, already. The, like, and and oh, it, you have no place to stay. This is a pretty big building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We could close the door after. You know. And yeah. apparently, <laughs> his excuse. After a few thousand people come in. And yeah. apparently, his response to people asking him why he didn't open his doors was, you know, he has to wait for the actual evacuation. You know facilities to fill up before he opens his doors which is a lame excuse because you are joel olstein bruh like you are an extremely powerful preacher and you like if you snap your fingers you can make things happen yeah. for you or for anything that's beneficial to the growth of your church so why when people need real real help like a disaster struck yeah why was not your regardless of whatever you want to call it, bureaucracy protocol why can't you say I want to open my church? And yeah. if someone was stopping you from it, and you're a true Christian, you're gonna go on social media and say I'm trying to open up my church to these people, mm-hmm. to these victims, and somebody's not letting me. Mm-hmm. I need help. Yeah. What's up? Like that's that's what real people yeah, do. Yeah, it just that's just my that, opinion. That wasn't what he wanted to do. Yeah. Exactly. Like. And then, so then they, and so they came back. I think is he gonna open the door? No, no. I think he opened. Sure. I think he did. Yeah. But at this yeah. point now, like he's already tarnished some of his reputation a bit, as far yeah. as in the eyes of people who believe in what he says. So, mm-hmm. and th- that goes to this point I always make that people don't take titles and words seriously, mm-hmm. like Christian preacher, pastor, whatever you want. Like your initial thought mm-hmm. when you heard about this hurricane should be at least 
all right, if it's a disaster, I should probably open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's say a hurricane hasn't hit yet. It should it should be an initial shot. Like, maybe they're going to need my help. Right. And then when a hurricane hit, people had to come for you. I hate using that phrase, but people had to come for you. People had to asking you for roast help. you. Like, mm-hmm. people on Twitter asking him. He blocked this guy. He said, why have you opened up your church to Hurricane Harvey victims? And he blocked them. Where? He blo- um, yeah, on Twitter. It's, it's crazy. Wow. And that shit had to happen for you to be like, all right, I'll go. Yeah. And then... I think it was on an interview of CNN. His body language was so just... His body language was like, oh my he's God. Because like, he had to do it at You know what point. I'm saying? Yeah, he's like... Oh, he like, probably realized he messed up. Yeah. And like, he's like, damn. Now, I'm not going to... I'm not going to base every mega church um, pastor off of him. Nah, mm-hmm. you can't. But, I, like, I, I don't know. I just never really, like, gave into that whole televising the church and um, making it a spectacle... I know on one hand, you do it to bring in people and save them. Mm. But on the other hand, you don't make a spectacle out of your religion. One, you yeah. don't make a fortune off of it. Oh, exactly. that's, a, oh, that's, that's another thing. thing. I'm so sorry, well, Skip. Though, right. Right. My well, thing is, because a, a lot of people say is like, all right, if you're, if you're in any enterprise, including the church, if you're successful, you should be allowed to enjoy some level of success. And I agree to, I agree to a, 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 a small degree. Cause I feel mm. like if you're in that role, that means you have a heart for people, and if your if your heart is to serve the people, that means whatever resources are coming into your church, are that that it's primarily for that purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if 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 a million dollars come in, that do, that doesn't necessarily mean raise your salary. That means you could serve more people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That million but, dollars goes to the church, not some to you and some to him. Word. All to the church. Word. And when you when you when you preach people to sow their seed into the church, right? Mm-hmm. To, to 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 sacrifice but you a live part in of the mansion. Word. A part of their a part of their resources, hard earned dollar, you know, in into the church. They in their mind that that money is going towards helping people to uplift. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Or uplifting like helping some. Helping the church, like yeah, to but say, like to with say, the lights open. Word, exactly. Like that yeah. and and to because that you know that's what it's that's what it's meant for. You mm-hmm. it's meant to you you you're meant to take a part of your blessing and bless others with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. If 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 you take him that. And uh, and you and and your house is bigger than the church. That mean that, that you shouldn't be filthy rich. You, you, bigger that, than the church. Yeah. That to me, but, you far off the plan. Like, and you know but, what's crazy but about that's that? Also it. Um, that's also measuring it. That's also where we got to take into account that while you are doing work of God, you're still a human, and some humans do have many humans who are given riches, you know, and or find ways to still help and have nice things. Some of them may continue to, <laughs> <laughs> but and um, and I guess that's that's a hard topic too, because like some people may be comfortable with, you know, making sixty thousand dollars a year and also having a mega church, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But then other people might not be comfortable with Why? that. They might need to say, well, what if someone's worried about more about security? Then they gotta move in a certain neighborhood. What security? I don't think no, you're driving off faith. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not justifying people wasting money. I'm not talking about go buy a jet. You know what I mean? Like I'm. Well, that's I, what I, we're but I'm saying that there is a abusing. there is a range, I guess. Like because mm. it's still subject. It's subjective. It depends on who you are, like mm. and what kind of life you have. What um, maybe someone needs to make. I don't know. I'm, I'm going off too well, far. I'm going off. If you far, make yeah. that money off of like, if you're a person that <coughs> wants that type of lifestyle, mm-hmm. then you need to like do something other than just take money from the church for your yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm for saying? Sure. Like, it's okay for you to want that lifestyle, but don't take the money from the church yeah. to make that lifestyle possible. Like, uh, at least not a re- like do a, you know an unreasonable have, or, lifestyle. Or at least, you sh- or at least the work you do has to balance out what you got. Exactly. In my opinion, too. Like, if if he, if he does have a mansion, but he's building schools all over the place and doing this, this, and that, that may be justifiable then. But yeah, if he could he's, be housing if he's people, just you know. going to the mega church every Sunday and making public appearances, that's not justifiable in my it, opinion. No, no, like because I, I, I know if I had those millions, I'd be out here building schools, hospitals, helping create communities. Yeah, but a lot people. of people, a lot of these people, like. It's like it's a business for them now. Yeah, they only get a lot of people hustle, get it's into common. it because they know that's the yeah. and that's their main like, like yeah yeah. Like, like, I've, so heard, I've heard of, uh, of an incident um, 
in in Jamaica, like they had this teacher, this preacher come in. Matter of fact, it's TD T. D. Jakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop names. <laughs> <Lit. laughs> this church like went broke, like throughout the whole cost of just housing them because he brought his old entourage and they had to like pay oh, for he a came as a guest. Yeah, and he had oh. to because they they had to one they had, had to pay, pay for him, his entourage and they had to pay his travel then they had to pay for his like yeah and it's like yeah, it got so expensive. expensive. It got so That's wild. Like, yeah, like, the like, church. It drained the church like heavy. I'm like, yo. Mm. To me, like that. What? Wait. Where, what? To me, like one, if you, if your, if your church. I don't know, man. Like, no, you can't that be. You can't be. That's weird, you can't man. be say you. You're, you're here to give people hope, keep people life, and you're one. And you're you're drained. draining their rate resources, and two, it's like. It. You're well, not doing it. I don't well, know, see. That baffles me because ever since you know since I was going to school as a school as a to church as a young person and now every pastor I've known they have jobs mm. they don't make church the main thing mm. you get what I'm saying well, it's and not the main thing for their for their income yeah. sorry yeah. that's what I mean Let's, I should clarify main thing mm. for the income you're right mm. you know what I'm saying and they're still contributing as much as they can like. Mm. You know, like oh yeah, they're, like they're, like that's their excuse. Like I don't have anywhere else to go, so I need the church to pay me. Like nah, you don't say that. You know that's not the case. Yeah. It might be counseling or working with kids or something yeah. else on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, that's still you know what I'm saying. But they're doing something else to bring in some kind of money. Exactly. Right. But if you're yeah. depending solely on the church, and yeah. then but I do, start I the church's mind, income. And all there, that is, there's some churches who that need that have, kind of attention. They have the following. They have the following to where they can they they can pay their pastor. A salary that they can live, you know what I'm saying, and, mm-hmm. and live this, and, and that's 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 cool. Yeah, that's great. Like I'm all for that, and and norm uh, normally that that type of situation comes with more responsibility to where like it's it's a job because mm-hmm. yeah. you're not only just preaching every Sunday, you're running and the whole operations you. of the whole church and mm-hmm. people, you know, the, for help, you know friends, exactly. family, and not and only members, and your flock is you know has exactly like they lean on you for support and whatever mm-hmm. but it's like when when it just gets to a point of just like all right this is ridiculous especially <laughs> yeah. like this where we have such mm. a huge disaster like yeah. everybody you see everywhere is trying to help in some uh, type of way and yeah. you over here supposed to be helping yeah. from With beforehand every, it makes you it makes you like, qu- and the very people who, who ever put you in, the in that position exactly who, who donate to you and it, who give who sow those seeds that you right. so very want so much because people that's people the, people be giving these pastors they last. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He's expecting a miracle. His, Bruh. His response Not even a joke. Re- there yeah. was some lady who all uh, was like terminally ill with cancer and wouldn't go see doctors, wouldn't go do nothing, but she kept on donating to one of um one of the the mega churches and one of the pastors oh, on TV, it, the tele- no, televangelist. It was a tele- yeah. yeah, it was a televangelist and a few of them there yeah. was one, I forgot his name. I, I wish I could call his name that he got caught um you know, scamming like being a scam, mm. <laughs> but then, but then he's still operating. Yeah, I know, I I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, um, well, you know, America, and America loves fake shit. And they yeah. and they yeah. and they they're allowed to like that. So there's there's like degrees to this joint. There's there's of course like I I believe majority of pastors like have good motives and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But then there's the ones who take it as a uh. uh a business and and live these exorbitant lifestyles. That I feel like, uh, and then there's the straight roaches that uh, are straight scamming. Yeah, scamming like telling yeah. people like, hey, sow this and this is gonna happen to your life. Um, don't don't even go to the doctor. Take that money, give it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And but like they're they're saying yeah, and they'll say anything to to just squeeze. Oh, you got credit card debt? We could put mm-hmm. the um. Put a donation on a uh, credit uh, card yeah. and watch the <clears throat> credit card that disappear. That's like, ridiculous. wow. But then that, that's actual like some what? people believe it. That's yeah. crazy. Like, and, and it's the people who who don't have much else to hold on to. You know what that's I mean? What, yeah. That's what I've seen people donate, like you know, or get whatever, like give you know the the money in the church, mm. and then like you can tell everybody is giving way more than they can, and then the people gonna ask again, like, mm. hey, by the way, y'all like mm. you get more money. I'm like. <laughs> they already gave money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why are you asking for more? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that that pastor who said um, he feels like the church should pay for a private jet because Jesus dollar. wants him to have one? He said Jesus wants him to have a private jet. So mm. 
Creflo Dollar, sixty million dollars he was trying to raise. Mm-hmm. Creflo. Yeah, that was Creflo. Oh, if I met a nigga named Creflo Dollar anywhere, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I trust, trust him. It. Creflo like, Dollar? That yeah, like he, your local he, he already <laughs> got what? your he already got your wallet in his back. First of all, man. he sounds like a character name somebody <laughs> made up for made like a up. thrifty type of. <laughs> Bro, like once you dude. say the first half of your name, Kref, like, all right, let's stop this. <laughs> sound, I've never heard a name sound begin like, with Kref. Sound like a nigga that wears straight teeth, white dentures, and a damn zoot suit and a hat, dog. Wait. Or <laughs> it also sound like a nigga got eight to the bottom, eight to the top, <laughs> tattoos all over his arm, dreads, and... And bullet, nah. bullet wounds. Either way, he's that's scamming too, you. That's it don't too young matter. for a name, Creflo. A nigga though. named yeah. Creflo is Creflo. scamming you. <laughs> and then he, he's got the, the he cherry sound, on Creflo top. Creflo ain't he up to like, no good. He sound like a nigga that like start every sentence like, hey, listen there, baby. Like, <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Creflo sound like one of those niggas always try to flip your money. Let yeah. me tell you how you can turn that Word. into this. <laughs> so I'm telling you, cousin, <laughs> just give me 500 I'll flip that into two fifty by next week. <laughs> <laughs> you know they call me Flow Dollar, right? <laughs> Creflo, the sound, flow? Creflo sound like the cousin your mama give a speech to you before you get to the family reunion. Mm-hmm. Hey, your your cousin Creflo, he gonna ask you for some money. He ain't no good. Don't give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you got me last year, little so bitch. But um, but yeah, when it like, comes down to it, Joel Osteen's response to this disaster was absolutely unacceptable as a mm-hmm. man of God. Yeah, and um, it's and, a shame you gotta do that. Why even question it? Nah, it's not that. It's just that's it's the like, crazy like shit. that to me. Like it, it's just I don't have an I can't see an excuse for it personally, as a person who believes in the same God this man preaches about. Yeah, I agree. And and what if if you preaching the word, you gotta be out here in these streets and be about what you're talking about, man. True, like, straight up, you're the example Absolutely. for us mm-hmm. for the people who believe this. So. Like, how dare you not come to the aid when you're in a position to be to there for yeah. thousands of people in need at that exact moment. All you got to do is say, yo, open my doors and and let these people in my church so that they can have a place to stay. Yeah. Get them some food. Right. Let's get exactly. some sandwiches for everybody. Like, yeah. let's get it popping. It just oh, goes yeah. to show you that he ain't shit. Like, and it's showing, yeah. like, this disaster is showing all the people and all Who the companies that, are ain't, that ain't yeah. shit. Like, Best Buy. It's usually the case. Right. Oh, yeah. word? Charging the, what, $40, like, for a bottle? Like, yeah, it was what, something like, like 49 like, bucks for, for like, like, a 24 exactly. pack of bottle. Uh, bottle oh, water. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Pr- price gouging. Um, like, gas station. Disgusting price gouging. For what? Wait, what are they? I've seen gas stations. A lot of gas stations are no, they're price gouging. They're price like gouging. they're just if people want water, they have to pay forty dollars oh, for in Texas. A, yeah, in oh, Texas. Yeah, duh. Okay. And notice gas wow. prices went up here too, pretty. Yeah, yeah man. They, 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 I mean, in all fairness, they were creeping up for like last few weeks, but after the hurricane, I see some they're ridiculous down. prices. Like, yeah, 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 no, yeah. they're up. Yo, regular is like two. 40s or yeah, yeah, like two forty five. Right? I saw two forty nine. I saw something at eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a picture of Texas. Oh, eight dollars for a gallon. Texas. Texas. Oh, okay. We're talking about Hurricane oh, Harvey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight dollars. Like, no, because when we talk about gas yeah, like, prices, the gas prices here in yeah, Miami, Florida prices. also spiked like yeah, by yeah. like thirty cents. Not yeah. there. Crazy. They're like yeah, yeah but they're oh, spiked by like five dollars. And they got oil, man. Texas got oil reserves. But then, I, yeah. come on, I, I, man. I, I, I heard. I wonder um, how that's being affected. I heard, yeah, I heard it. Um, it got shut down. They're shutting down the largest oil refinery in the country. Yeah, that's on the Texas Louisiana border. Yeah, border. Or is that their excuse to continue to you to get other resources outside of? It our, might be. It's they the always, secret government yeah. testing, my nigga. We never know. We just never yeah. know. They always That's take crazy. advantage of situations like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all I mean, yo. The people up That's top, they're crazy. opportunists, man. That's how they are there. Can we can <laughs> we juxtapose? Can we can we can we sprinkle a little bit of sunshine in this? Let's sprinkle some sunshine. Oh yes. And, so, and, and by sunshine, we know we gotta talk about some Chick Fil A real quick. Cause that's, oh yeah. And, oh, and that's not the happiest time. place on earth. Fuck this. Yo, real world. Christians. <laughs> no. <Nah, laughs> Before you real start people to touch on what we said earlier about bad customer service, I've never had a bad customer service experience at Chick Fil A. Oh, and this yeah. ever. And this I don't is, know anyone that has. This is quite possibly the best instance of uh, of customer service. <laughs> so there's a video going on on the interwebs. Uh, mm-hmm. A gentleman was of course afflicted by the hurricane as well too uh locked up in his in his house and he called chick-fil-a ordered some burritos ordered some like breakfast sandwiches and ordered a boat and them niggas showed up with a boat i rescued a man <laughs> and a fool too and yeah, rescued him. Oh. And, and he was and so like, it, it goes deeper like they brought a boat at first and he was trying to pile all this shit onto the boat 
and not not everything would fit. Fit. Uh-huh. Uh, all of a sudden. Two jet skis pop up, dude. How no way. No, this sounds no like, this sounds like a movie scene. No, no way. Bro. Like, this sounds like a fucking like, movie scene. Like, that's the fire department. God he ain't called said, Joel Austin. God said, ask and you shall receive. receive. If y'all remember my Snapchat from approximately three weeks ago, I was at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so hungry. I'm like, I want a spicy chicken deluxe. But there ain't enough chicken in that. Mm-hmm. I want a double spicy chicken deluxe. <laughs> it ain't on the menu. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just ask. I said, uh, I like a spicy chicken deluxe, but can I make that a double chicken patty? Buddy ain't even hesitate. I didn't even finish saying patty. Buddy was like, oh, yeah, of course, man. I got you. And I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Chick-fil-A <laughs> is from heaven. Chick-fil-A is the bee's knees. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember one time I got, I think I got like strawberry shake from there. Yeah. And I looked at it, and I guess they saw a little disdain in my face. But I was like, oh, "That's not what I wanted." But it's in, in like they took it back. What to was me wrong before. with it? Like, I don't know. But they saw that I didn't like it. So before I even said anything, they said, "Oh no, we'll fix that for you." Like I didn't even tell you <laughs> what. And then they wrong? came back with the right order. Shit, oh, it's not. Yo, like they just felt that energy from me. Like he didn't like that. He's <laughs> not. He's not a hundred. He's not satisfied. He's not hundred percent satisfied. Yo. You. you <laughs> this know. doesn't sit well with me. Mm-hmm. Everyone in there is so happy though. No, a Chick-fil-A. I get it's always you. their pleasure to serve you. One yeah. of the questions they ask you in the interview process is, "Do you consider yourself an intuitive person?" <laughs> <laughs> like. I'm just trying to flip some chicken, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even say flip burgers. Flip, yeah, you can't flip chicken. On the lowest of keys, let's say, God forbid, you're like a, you're older, and let's say you don't have a career and you gotta like be the one of them old niggas that work at a fast food place. Mm. If it was at Chick Fil A, I wouldn't be too upset. You wouldn't be, man. All them forty old flipping chicken. chicken at. Chick Fil A, I'm like, damn. For some reason, this feels good. And you Go get every Sunday. <laughs> I feel like after damn. after I retire, like after I've made my millions, I'll just like quietly work at a Chick Fil A. For real, yeah. the man. Yeah. Dude, just be like, is that Pablo Escobar? Hold on, you get every Sunday. Oh, like, oh, that's another. That's why it tastes Sunday, so good. Like, oh, that God is literally God. blessed them. Yeah. He, they took love. the Sabbath off. <laughs> how every much, Sunday. How much do you respect a religion where you cost yourself money? Because I guarantee you, if Chick Fil A is open, but they're not costing themselves. Money. No, no, no. I'm just making a point. If they were open Big on companies. a Sunday, mm-hmm. I don't know a company that'd be have more money than them. That's the point I'm trying to make. They know they can make that money on yeah. that Sunday, mm-hmm. but like you know what? No, I respect my Lord and my Savior more than all that. And I like my employees, man. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's such a trickle down effect. If the owner's happy, it's gonna roll down. Let's see, guys, one salty chick in there. Or a salty dude salty in there. Chick- oh, I right. thought you said that salty chicken. No, no, no. Yeah. The salty manager <laughs> in that was, little mix. We were on it. Yeah, we were on it. We was on it. Yeah. Yeah. They, and they just used those to season your chicken. Because Chick-fil-A is just awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah they're bro. beautiful, man. Set, in every way. And like... Boat. Oh, God, man. <laughs> and oh, yeah. Like we said earlier, shout out to the other people. That have, um, they have boats and everything. Oh, yeah. And, um, um, Trade the... Um, Trade the truth, the yeah. motherfucking truth. Yeah, he was, he was out, out there. there. Oh, he he yeah. living up to his word. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for real. Has Travis Scott? Has, have we heard anything from Travis Scott about this? Bun B. Oh yeah, I'm just I've, curious. I've, I've, I've heard of Bun B. I've I've heard of. I haven't heard anything. I've, from Travis. I've even seen like Kirko Bangs. Uh, wow, yeah. what's they drinking, my girl? That thing out there. Look, look, look. I didn't know he was from Houston. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know. What? I didn't really listen to him. That song was about Lean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I mean, but a lot of niggas be on the so true. Bun B, I think he's organizing a benefit concert in the next few weeks. That's what's up. That's so. what's up. Raise all the dollar you can, because like like uh, Flock of Zoo said earlier, like it's just not the now you're paying for; it's the rebuilding, the short term, short term, uh, and the long term. Yeah, you, know, you gotta think forward. Yeah, Bun B do be with the shifts though. Yeah, yeah. you saw him. Hey, like, once go again, to one of those white, <laughs> one of those white protesters. Yeah, we talked about it last podcast. Oh, yeah. Literally, we did, yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, oh, big shout okay. out to him. Like he's like he said, I'm a t- he said I'm a professor. <laughs> but he was with the shits for real. But um, I will fuck you up. <laughs> I'm a pro- college professor. <laughs> <laughs> and then like um, I read a couple articles of like people. This I don't even like to bring it up, but um, this mother sacrificed herself so her baby could survive. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I read that. I was like, oh my yeah. god, no, that's crazy. Yeah, condolences to her. I, I, I didn't really definitely. I didn't get her name, but the baby's family. okay. Yeah, the baby survived. Man, but thank gosh. Our, I, our I actually know someone mother. that is related to that person. So, really? Wow. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, it's a very sad situation. And like, it was, she, it was, like the baby couldn't have been more than one. 
Thanks. Man. It's crazy. It's but a yeah. miracle that the baby survived. They were saying that they were like they were about to go under like water and had they gone underwater, they both wouldn't have survived. Jeez. That's terrifying <laughs> to think about. It, oh, and another thing, once again with the children. I saw this video. As cute as it was, it was terrifying also. Some guy was filming this little white baby. Um, <laughs> she, she was old enough to watch. She's probably like four, three or four. <laughs> and like so she was just walking by herself <laughs> in a empty neighborhood, you know, flooded. And like up to her, it was probably like up to her shins or something. And she's just out walking. This guy's like, what is this baby doing? It's like a series of snaps. Oh my God. And he walked up to her and was like, where do you live? She's like, I live right there. They're like, my parents are right there. And he's like, he guided her back. And then the father walked out like, oh my God, she snuck out again. What? Like, what? What? <laughs> again? <laughs> That's crazy. If During you would have said, oh my God, she snuck out, this was her first time, I'd be like, all right. No, but that again, doesn't even matter, dog. This is a disaster and yeah. you don't have eyes on your child at that, all times. This child should be on your hip. <laughs> like out of here, I mean, it, it, it was just flooded. The rain wasn't falling heads. or anything, but he was just walking around. The, she was just That's walking around crazy. the dirty nah, man, flood water. Cool, man. Like, Yo, no, what's in that Yeah, water? the father walked that. Oh, my God. It, that, that was Skinny that was the wild, bacteria, yeah. uh, dysentery. But, you know, like everything, you have to... Look on the good side, and you have to. But shout out to the Texans the and the he's what do they call them? Houstonian, Houstonian, Houston, Texans, Houstonites. Houston. No, I know oh. there's something with Houston, like, Houston but they've come together for real. Like, it's been beautiful how they've come yeah. together. Yeah, for yeah. real. For real. For and, and like, what's crazy? Maybe because of social media, but it just happened so quick. Like, bom, yeah. bom, bom, social bom, media bom. is definitely clutch, man. Yo, for uh, these situations. Word. Oh, there were people RT and like, oh, um, this shout is my grandma. This is my aunt. This is where she lives. She can't contact anyone. He go save her and everything, and that's work. Beautiful, people man. retweet and say, "All right, she's good. She's fine." Mm. It's so. Uh, it's it's, Yo, uh, it's just so awesome. together. See, there's hope in that, man. Yeah. Like where when Joel Olstein ain't come through, everybody else did. You we know. could do it without you, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And shout out to our peoples in Houston, man. Shout out to Jazzy. Shout, shout out to yeah. Rachel. Yeah. Shout One out to Jazzy and Rachel. Yeah. Everybody and out I wish we could give more information, but we don't know if we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know J- Jazzy does um help an organization, I believe. With uh, so as we get more information, we'll put that out yeah, there for yeah. y'all as well, we'll so y'all could send any donations. Uh, if you have clothes, diapers, like practical things for these families out here. Yeah, to uh, get them to the day to day. We'll probably post what you say on the Instagram, yeah. on yeah. interwebs, and um, information for y'all to donate and 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 help society, man. Because we all here together, we gotta help each other out. Yeah, Definitely. straight up, straight up. Word. And checking the clock. That seems to be about a podcast, guys. I, I think oh, yeah, so. So uh, before uh, we, we go, to- once again. Uh, shout outs to our lovely guest Taja Ra right. mm-hmm. of Taja Ra Thank Crystals. Thank you for having me. Very lovely. IG coming soon. Definitely okay. and Etsy. I already have. But you Facebook got a Facebook business lit. page. So. We'll we'll post it in the link in the description. Right. Well, t- tell them the link for the Facebook page or what's how do you spell it's, out your um, name? It's Taja Ra T A S J A space Ra R A Crystals. And right. I'm gonna make it that see soon. So yeah. custom made jewelry mm-hmm. right. commissions are open. Hey, slide it. And um, I want to send one quick shout out before we go. Um, Mo Wash Battle, my nigga Mo, Tutter J, hey. he's hey. gonna be one battling. Time. So you Yo. know, and I'm gonna try to down too. Yeah, shout out Tutter J. Good luck. Miami's you know own. Take. Miami's All own. Right. Born and raised. So. CC. Shout out to them Chiefs. Right. And don't be mad when you see him on TV in a few months. For real. Right? We you told ain't. you. Hey, yo, PSG told you first. All right. And shout out to our sponsor, the Geek Land Store. Remember, check out the IG, their um, we'll the online going. website, Geek Land. Yeah, just you know, Geek Land. Geek Land Store. What's up? Or use promotion code TPSG. For twenty percent discount. T P S. You know what I'm saying. And all as Flock Zulu always says, they got your favorite nerd shit. Word to that shit. Oh. <laughs> Word all the nerd shit. All Dra- from Dragon Ball Z to Pokemon, all that. Word to Naruto, all of it. Yeah, yeah. We know you niggas like that nerd shit. Hey. It's cool. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> but um, right. yeah. Uh, once again. Yeah. Thanks so for our great guests. And, and I think it's time for the instructions. Sir. Word. Oh, yes, indeed. Merchandise coming soon, guys. Oh, so keep oh how out. can hey. I forget? Hey, yes. TPSG, the Physics Study Group, Fall Collection, coming to you soon. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> um, we looking mom. for IG models. 
<laughs> yeah, word. you know. So please send applicable nudes. But we want word. the most regular send looking all your people. Booty pics, <laughs> Never. We don't want no supermodels. We don't want no supermodels. You know, nah. yeah. Like, yeah, but only IG regular, models. Just, mm. We want regular. If you pose models, with one of your foot bow legs so your booty pop out, nah, we need some regular girls. And you need to go to <laughs> Doc, you may need a hip replacement. You yeah. do that too often. So if you're interested <laughs> in being a TPSG model, just send um your 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 bathroom sink booty pics. <laughs> the squadcast 88 at, at gmail.com gmail. gmail. but, but yeah like, man uh, this was a fun episode it was hope it was. everyone yeah. enjoys as much as we did I Word. guess before y'all finish just again love and prayers to all the people that were affected yes by definitely we're definitely we're we're about you. like whether it happened to you or family or friends blessings for everyone definitely sure. in our prayers yeah and if y'all have suggestions on other ways that people can help out in effective ways Put it in the comment section, man. And also Word. share it on your Facebook page, on your Twitter. Like, get that information out there. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Word. rate, subscribe. Yeah. Word. But um, we're going to do the instructions late today. Oh, yeah. But before you close out the instructions, this is Flocka Zulu, <laughs> a.k.a. Sir Black Sally in the third. Oh, it's your boy David Balmai, a.k.a. Debo What Bite. And you know who it is already. It's your boy Shabby. Shabby Rankin. <laughs> And it's your boy, Mr. Jormatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle. And we're joined and today. And very special guest. Thank right. you again for having me. Oh, thank you for Ajara. coming. And, um, yeah. So, I usually tell you middle pod- podcast, but I'm going to tell you now. You're going to smoke a spliff. Mm. Make sure it's a fat one. Mm. Take a shot. Mm. Make dark, sure it's a fat dark, one. Dark liquor only. Mm-hmm. And rub a nice old fat booty. Mm-hmm. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Bye. Bye. Peace. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I mean, if you've got a it's petite easy. booty. Yeah. Damn, it's hard to get a motherfucking. I'm a little fool like a matador. Hey, could you put some of the echo on that? Yo, the back of my neck. I want to mess around a little bit. Hello. Test, test. Test, test. Hey. Oh.